Greetings, Facebook family, friends, and the world. This is Mikael Eric Harris, better known as the Juice, also known as the Alkaline Water Guy. Um, I'm gonna go into a the topic of this discussion I'm about to give you is uh is called how to relate, and the reason why I'm I'm calling this one how to relate. I would like to call it relationships, but I already have a a um. Uh, a heading called relationships, but I'll probably give you the same information in that one with this one. But I'm calling this topic that I'm about to speak on, on I'm calling it how to relate. Really, it's how to relate um, as a couple or to your mate. So I'm going to start here. And um, first I'm going to do, I'm going to give praises to the creator. First by saying... Thank you, Creator, for all you've done. Thank you, Father Heaven. Thank you for the Thank you for Praise be thou, Creator of heaven above, earth and evil waters on the earth, the sea and all that in the midst. Praise be Creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Praise be Creator of Israel. Praise be Creator of Israel. Israel. Please keep giving us wisdom, knowledge, and inclination, and understanding. Life, health, and strength, food, shelter, and clothing. Let us be happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise in all that we do. Please watch over the sick and afflicted and those out there that need your help in the world today, the hungry, the homeless, and those that really need your information. Please keep leading and guiding us that we may help lead and guide others in all that we do. Please keep leading and guiding my tongue through the scriptures and through the word and through your spirit that you have given me to show and share with others. In your holy word, spirit, and all things we pray and we thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Almighty. Now, um, to start this information off, um, as I was going to say, um, uh, there was a conversation I had with a cousin of mine last night. Um, she went through, or should I say she was going, her and her man was going through something. Now, I'm just going to share this with you as well as some other examples. But this is me and my lady was talking about this not too long ago. And um, in our conversation, um, um, I was sharing this and then a lot came out of the conversation. So in this conversation, I said, I really need to probably share this you know, with the world so they can probably get a better understanding and understanding on how we can start learning how to relate with our couples and with our with our mate. Or yeah, our mate or or as a couple in order to build our relationships. And in order to do that, we got to understand that when we become when we when we meet each other, we meet each other, we meet each other to learn each other. I mean, first we are uh first there's an attraction. Then after the attraction, then we start to learn each other by the things that we do, going out, seeing each other, and just getting to know each other. And then, you know, the from that point, the relationship begins. But within this, um, you know, we all are here to procreate, to come learn each other, come together to build and grow. And as we grow, we grow in this earth and this this earth, which is our dominion, um, we're supposed to own and uphold. So and we do that by being a couple and then becoming a family. So. Start back on what I was about to say. My cousin, me and my cu my cousin called me yesterday. She had a, um, she had a a uh, situation going on that um, which what a lot of us as couples do or as as a family or or things in our relationships we go through and we go through hard times. Certain things happen to us where we end up not working or both of us is out of work for a moment or, or some financial difficulties start to happen. And, you know, and then stress starts to build. And in this, let me just share with a little bit a uh, scenario. And the scenario is more like uh, some things was going on, you know, some things had to be done, which was in her name. Some things had to be done and taken care of. And, you know, both of them, they're together, they're working together. And we all, jumping off of that, we all have been in other relationships where we had dealt differently with our mate, you know, with and in those relationships compared to the ones that we may have or we're in now, or we may not be in, but we may be advancing to in the near future or at this time, 
you know, a lot of people have the I mentality, the me, my, and I. And it was the same thing. I, and I'm talking through experience from my past up into where I am now. And um, just to jump back on that situation, you know, she was saying certain things were going on. She needed to have some funds to take care of some business uh, that was very important. And um, she ended up borrowing some money from a, a old friend, an old longtime back to school friend that she'd known for years. But he didn't know anything about it. I don't know if he knew him or not, but he didn't know anything about her borrowing the money. So he was going to borrow some money from his mom and, and brother. And um, and um, um, they, he was going to do that. And then by borrowing the money, um, you know, that would have been cool. But she said, hold on, you know, we'll see what we're going to do. So she, I guess her and this friend had already had talked and they wired her the money. She got the money. She took care of everything. Everything that needed to be taken care of. She took care of all that, you know. Then afterwards, what happened was, what happened was afterwards, she told him about it, which was honesty and which was good and which was true because this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be honest with our mate and with our people. And that way we hold the relationship. We hold a bonded relationship. But yet and still, we all are still learning as well in this life time um 